AFTV, Rob, perfect wrap to the Christmas weekend. Love that, perfect wrap, wrapped up, <laughs> wrapped up Norwich like a present today, man. Yeah. Trust me, that was brilliant. Fantastic performance, um, five star, five nil, Saka, unplayable today. They couldn't deal with him. I think it was Brandon Williams, the yeah. the right back who's or left back who's on loan from um, Man United, and as expressions would say, when we do our um, you know best of enemies, he got put in a split. He did. He, he 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 today, you know, he couldn't handle Saka. Saka was brilliant today. I just think all round, right throughout the pitch, the performances were really really good. And you know what as well, what impressed me today. It's not just obviously the young players take the headlines. Saka, Smith Rowe, you know they got you know they they the guys who scored and they they were brilliant. But I think one of the things we've been talking about and we want to see some of these experienced players mm -hmm. step up yeah. and be the foundation for those guys to go and do their thing. And I thought I saw that today. I thought Thomas Partey was excellent. Xhaka was solid enough in there as well. So you know it wasn't vintage Lacazette. But his hold-up play, link-up play again was good. One scored the penalty. penalty. One as a penalty, scored the penalty. Yeah. You know, um, Rob Holding, wouldn't say he's an old player, but an experienced player at the back, had a solid enough game. So what I liked about today is that some of those sort of experienced guys that we're looking at and saying, right, all season long it's been the young guys carrying yeah. us. Where are you lot? They were here today. They were here. They they set the foundation for them to go and do their thing. And it was a very, very impressive performance. I know people are going to say, don't get carried away. It's Norwich and stuff like that. We're not getting, getting carried away because it's Norwich. But if you go away from home in the Premier League and you win 5-0, you have to be impressed by that. That No matter who you play, yeah. good performance. Last two away games, nine goals, one goal conceded. I mean, if that's Man City, everyone just looks at it like normal business. Yeah. This is Arsenal and it hasn't been normal business recently, but this is what we want to see as normal business. Yeah, and what I like about it today, Turkish, right, is that we were dynamic. Right, and that's what I've liked in the last few games, you know, as like the game at Leeds. And I love the way we just took it to them right from the off. We were dynamic, we attacked them. We did the same thing today. Norwich tried to press us. We didn't worry about that. We played our game, we, you know, we played out from the back. And the goals were good. Yeah. They were good, quick, incisive passes that led to the goals and then some great finishing. Um, Saka, I think sometimes this season his, his finishing hasn't been as, pro, you know, he, he gets himself in great positions yeah. with his skill and sometimes his, his finishing has let him down. But today his finishing was spot on and I really get excited to watch him play. Over the last few games he's been unplayable and again today, absolutely brilliant. And his Smith Rowe comes on at the end and scores again. Another one. You know, and you know, he's not even upset that he's not starting, he's playing for the team. Yeah. Order guard today. Wow. Well, you know, I mean, he's putting in performance after performance. I remember, you know, a little bit earlier in the season, some people are order guard. I say, no, listen, this guy, when he came in last season, I thought he'd done really well. Yeah. And he will get better. And we're seeing that now. He's, he's a confident kid. And he's quality. Real Madrid wouldn't have signed him at 16 or 17 if he wasn't absolute quality. I think we've got ourselves a bargain. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I remember at the start of the season, people were, you know, talking of Norwich, people were saying we should get Buendia, mm -hmm. who's a good player. But I was happy with Odegaard and Odegaard is delivering a couple of assists again today and again, energetic all-round performance. So, now, nah, how can you fault today? Absolutely brilliant and sets, up, sets us up um, nicely for the next couple of games. You know what, Rob, you asked me a question in our interview and... Uh, it's not often that I have no words, but you asked me a question where it's hard for me to pin down where I am with Arsenal right now. Because after that Everton loss, you know, how we all felt demoralised back to square one in a sense. What do you put this down to? Is it the consistency with the playing squad? Is it the consistency with Arteta? Is it, you know, it's gone bang. I remember Arteta mm. last season said this project will one day go bang and you'll understand it. What do you put this, not only the upturn in results, but mm. the performance is down to? I think definitely the players are playing for Mikel Arteta. You know what I mean? You can see it. Um, they're playing. There's a, there's a feel-good factor around the team. And they're playing good football. They're, earlier on in the season, even though we were getting some results, I didn't really like some of the performances, right? But I'm liking the performances now. We're moving the ball quickly. You know, um, we're beginning to play. We're beginning to play as a team. I'm beginning to see a team. Not, you know, we're not relying on individuals. You know what I mean? Over the past couple of years, we've relied on Aubameyang or relied on... 
various different players. But now, yeah, yeah it's a system and we're playing as a team. I thought earlier on in the season, we were too negative. You know what I mean? When we played out from the back, it was too slow. It was ponderous, but it's quicker now. Yeah. So you've got to give credit. Give credit to the manager. You know what I mean? Um, this time last season, we were nowhere near fourth. So, you know, something he's doing, he's doing right. He's getting his decisions right. And I think the other thing as well, which has been quite significant, is that it's been the same team. Mm -hmm. There's not been loads of changes. You know what I mean? He, it looks like he's finally come across his best or round about his best 11. Yeah. He knows what that is now. You know what I mean? And I also feel it's a freshness to the team. Last season, there were so many players playing that you're like, I've said it before in interviews, you've seen them play a million times and you're like, you've seen them make the same mistake a hundred times. Hector Bellerin, Kolasinac, this player, that player, you know what I mean? Willie and his <laughs> name there. There's a lot of these guys that, you know what I mean? We, you're like, yo, come on, man. Week after week, you're, you're doing the same thing. Whereas we've got some new fresh players in now. They're playing for the badge. They're really hungry. Well, I'm not saying the other ones didn't play for the badge, but these ones are really hungry. And game by game, they're improving. They're getting better. Yeah. All the guards getting better game by game. Tommy Asso improves, you know what I mean? And it looks like there's genuine competition for places. Yeah. Kieran Tierney knows that it's not a given you play. Last year, that was a given. It would be like anything happened to him, we were all down on our knees praying that he's going to be all right. Whereas now, obviously, we still want him to be all right and he's still a vital player for our team. But we know we've got Nuno Tavares yeah. who can come in, right? Cedric, when he came in the other day, I know he's out with COVID, but I'm not, I, I saw it to myself, I was like, he's playing a lot better because he knows that to stay in this team, we've got to put performances yeah. in because Tommy is yeah. there. And I think you've got that a lot around the pitch. Even somebody like Aubameyang, it would have been unthinkable to drop him, has been dropped. Yeah. And we're not missing him. So I feel now it's more of a team that we're seeing. And that's got to be down to the manager. So big him up for that. But we've got a long way to go. It's, this is a results business. We've got a big tests coming up against Wolves. They'll be better than Norwich. They'll be fresher because, you know, they haven't had a game. So we have to put a big performance in that. But right now, I'm very happy with what I'm seeing from this team. These away performances in the Premier League, go away from home to Leeds 4 0. Norwich 5 0 over the Christmas period. It's brilliant. Yeah, can't complain. Wolves, you going with the same team? Yeah, I think, listen, I, I was thinking about, you know, he's going to have to make loads of changes and stuff like that because I think it's quite ridiculous that you've got a game, basically, you've got one day's rest. You've got a game today, rest tomorrow. I, even, I don't even know if they might even train a bit tomorrow. Then you've got a game against Wolves, right? But when I think about it, you've just come off the back of a 5 0. Confidence is sky high. You know what I mean? When you win 5-0, you just want to play the next game, innit? You, you can't wait. So to me, if those players are fit and they're strong and they're ready to go and, you know, they do all the tests and that, I'd literally go with the same team. Unless maybe Tommy Asser was back. Yeah. I would go with the, with the same team, maybe, maybe a slight adjustment if needed, but same team if we possibly can. Because I think it's vitally important to try and win that Wolves game because we know City's going to be a really tough game right, come the weekend, right? So get them two that we know we can win out the way and then see where we are going into the City game. Yeah, completely agree. Love, Rob.